Tron Air, the most trusted name in aircraft ground support equipment. Hi, my name is Charles Durate, Product Manager at Tron Air, and today we'll be going over commissioning and basic operation of the portable cabin pressure tester unit. This video is not intended to replace the use of the operation service manual that can be used in addition to the manual. Prior to first use, you want to verify all your gauges are in working order, not cracked or damaged. Verify your door seal gauge is all the way counterclockwise, and your pressure regulator is all the way counterclockwise. Additionally, you want to verify the ball valve on the back of the unit is closed. You will then connect your canopy door seal line and your cabin sense line to the back of the aircraft. Next, you'll verify your ball valve is closed. You will then connect your external air source to the unit. Provided with the unit is the air supply line that is connected to the unit here, and the other end will be connected to the aircraft. Once you verify that all your regulators are fully counterclockwise and open, you can open your shop air supply or external air source and monitor your pressure here. The shop are now connected and the unit connected to the aircraft is now time to inflate your door seals. By turning the knob clockwise, you can increase the pressure to the pressure required in the AMM for door seals or canopy seals. With your door and canopy seals now pressurized and inflated for the AMM, by turning the pressure regulator clockwise, closing the valve, you will increase flow to the aircraft, which can be monitored on the climb sink rate indicator. Do not exceed the recommended climb or sink rate listed in your aircraft manuals. With your door and canopy seals now inflated, we're going to increase flow to the aircraft with the pressure regulator, monitoring our rate of climb on the rate of climb indicator. Your max rate of climb should be indicated in your AMM or manuals. Once your max rate of climb has been reached, monitor cabin pressure until you reach the prescribed cabin pressure required for your test. Once that pressure is reached, we'll begin opening the pressure regulator to maintain a zero rate of climb. When the zero rate of climb has been indicated on your gauge, you will go down to the flow meter and look for your pressure. And then based on the black line where it intersects on the meter, you will determine your flow rate. This indicates the amount of leak on your aircraft. Now that the unit is set up and you've established your, your flow rate, which indicates the leak rate of the aircraft. You can now go to your aircraft and audibly listen for the leaks. The unit is quiet enough to allow for that benefit. Once you've detected and repaired the leaks, you can repeat the check and verify that your leak rate has decreased. Now that we've completed the check, we'll begin to depressurize the aircraft. We'll begin by turning the pressure regulator fully counterclockwise closing the supply ball valve on the back of the unit. The aircraft will now naturally begin depressurizing. We'll monitor the sink rate to verify we don't exceed the specified sink rate in the AMM. And we'll verify cabin pressure is decreasing. Once cabin pressure has reached zero, there's no longer any pressure left in the cabin and we can begin deflating the door and canopy seal. We will turn the, the door and canopy seal counterclockwise and verify pressure is decreasing on the gauge. Once the door and canopy seal has reached zero pressure, we are now safe to disconnect the unit. Thank you for watching our video on how to test aircraft cabin pressure using the Tron Air portable cabin pressure tester. For more information, contact product support at tronair.com or call 419-866-6301.